Yo, 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 what's up? It's your man, Joel Venom of Defic Inc. Entertainment. Here to give y'all some information, <clears throat> some tips. Uh, what else? Some fucking advice. And basically, how I'm doing my shit these days. <clears throat> and some marketing tips. This is how it goes. When you're putting your music together, a lot of times you don't want to let's say release songs all the time you know i used to back in the day i used to um release a lot of material back to back um getting the people involved um <clears throat> getting the world to know who i was like i was basically i wasn't rushing per se but i was just trying to get my name out there as fast as possible you people might be doing that these days, but right now it's all about timing and it's all about quality over quantity. Reason I say that is because somebody can drop a mixtape on that piff or hot new hip hop or live mixtapes, whatever. You may not know these people, but they may have a ton of music videos out, not releasing any MP3s or anything anybody could download. You're probably wondering, well, damn, how does he get that much traffic on his mixtape? Basically, how you do that is you keep everything tucked away. You keep everything um, solid. Let's say you have a song that you were kind of skeptical about getting views or a certain response or something. When you make it solid is when you sit on it, you sit on that track, beat, whatever. You sit on that <clears throat> for a while until you feel like it's perfect. Because if you put out a song or a beat and you don't necessarily feel like it's up to par with what you wanted it to be a lot of people will tell you that it's dope or it's good or whatever but you at the end of the day won't you won't really feel like you did your job on it even though it's, it sounds good a lot of things you can do with marketing is uh you can try to look at other people's way of marketing like what what i usually do is i look up interviews of specific art well not specific artists any type of artist it could be artists it could be actors it could be anything you just take tips of how they got themselves out there and it may seem fast to you but it really wasn't that fast it took some time um <clears throat> also if you use social networks a lot um you can you can use like google plus that's a good one I heard that if you use that and you put a lot of your music or whatever your um, profession is, if you put it on there, you rise in the Google search rates. The Google search rates, obviously, when someone looks you up on Google, they're going to see everything you did. They just got to type it in. <clears throat> so with that being said, um, that's what you guys just really need to do. It's not that hard. Um, there's a lot of people that, you know, can't get studio time out there and they don't have the means to make their music or don't have the means to promote their music. That's fine. But you can always take it back to the concrete. You could go on the streets, tell people about your music, um, create business cards. If you if you don't have a mixtape yet, it really doesn't matter to get yourself out there. You can still get yourself out there off of one or two songs or probably just one. Um, another thing I wanna to touch on, when marketing your beats, when selling your beats, um, there's one thing that I, I normally do when it comes to selling beats. A lot of people, a lot of producers ask me, damn, how do you get uh, sales and stuff? I can't seem to do that. Well, basically what I do is, when I make a beat, you know, I make it to my liking, but I also make the beats for the people. A lot of producers make the beats and they're usually making it for themselves or for a specific artist. You can work with anybody in this industry. You can work with the man next door to your house. You can work with people in your family, peers and stuff like that. You don't necessarily have to create for one specific person because that's only gonna limit your creativity and it's also gonna limit your options. Um, what I do is I usually put my beats up on YouTube. Um, I calculate the views. Um, 
I put my beats on SoundCloud and SoundClick. And when I do that, I normally track the response I get and the areas that I've hit. Like with the demographics on YouTube, you can check which areas in the world have listened to your songs and the amount of time that you've listened to them. Not many people take time to do that or figure out what the data is behind that, but once you do, you can you you can also, you know, reach out to more people and also you can reach out to more artists and you know um another thing how I sell my beats, um I keep a relationship with the people that listen to my beats. You know, I also rap, so people that listen to my rap songs and all the material, they catch on when I put out a beat. So what I do is like, it'll be Facebook or Twitter, like, you know, everybody's human. So I don't, I'm not big headed or anything. I just talk to potential customers or just friends about the beats and you know how I feel when I make it. So they get more of an understanding of the hard work that I put in and the mindset that I have when I'm making this music. Um, another thing for producers that are trying to get themselves out there, when you add someone or you follow someone, don't automatically tell them, yo, I got the hottest beats, check me out. Because chances are you don't have the hottest beats and chances are that they're not really going to check you out if that's the first thing you said to them. You're basically kind of hassling a nigga. That's what you're doing. Refrain from doing that. When you do contact someone, like I said, form a relationship with them. Um, make sure your prices aren't too crazy. There's a lot of producers that have some crazy ass prices, but their beats are ass. So, you know, if you got an ass beat, man, I'm not even gonna cop that shit. That's just how I feel. If you bigging yourself up, you know what I'm saying? Then if you bigging yourself up and nobody else is doing that, there, there's gonna be a big chance that nobody's gonna get your shit. But those are a couple tips. You know, another tip is image is everything. Um, have pictures for your beats. If you have a beat tape, make sure your beat tape cover is on point as hell. Cause image is everything. Once somebody sees that you've got a nice cover or you've got a nice music video or whatever the case may be, the image that they have in their head is that you're professional. So make sure that you're always point on point with that. Because if you're not, then nobody's really gonna try to check you out. Like they're, they're gonna see that you have nice beats. You have the hottest beats in the world. But if your image isn't really matching up, then there's no interest gonna be made. That happens with record labels, um, DJs, <clears throat> A&Rs, all of the above. That's what happens like if you, okay, if you're selling shirts, right? And you got uh, this cheap, cheap ass shirt that you're selling, not many people may know that you're selling that cheap ass shirt. If you have a crazy ass fucking logo or the place that you're selling it at is so um, luxurious and everything or just comes, just stands out, people are gonna be like, damn, I need to go get that t-shirt from blah, 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 or I need to get those jeans from blah, 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 because this shit's on point. Why is it on point? Because of the logo, because if you ask the next person, they're gonna ask that person, well, why do you like that? And that person's gonna say, you see the fucking logo? That shit's dope as shit. So it all stems from fucking imagery and, and shit like that. So this is my video giving some tips out there to people. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you like this video and you like some of the tips, just go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, www.twitter.com backslash Joel Venom IL for Illinois. Um, add me on Facebook, Joel Venom. Joel Venom, everything. Just Google my fucking ass. I'll pop the fuck up. Buddy. Fucking pop up. So, yeah, like I said, this is Joel Venom once again giving you some tips and advice for the producers out there. You know what I'm saying? Be safe and, you know, happy holidays. Peace.